Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our Omud Yoimi Shir in Avas Shalom Beth Shemesh. Ein Zayin Omud Beth, Bov Metzia, Rosh Chodesh Sivan, Good Chodesh, Chodesh Tov, Rosh Chodesh Sivan, Kabbalah Satoiro. And this year is Le'ilo Nishmu Tov Emerge Menachem Menakiva, Rus Bas Shalom, Sol Bas Moshe, Le Refu As, Le Refu As, Give me Le Refu As Chaim Ben Sete, Le Refu As, Le Refu As Nama Bas Rachel Ram, Le Refu As Aviva Bas Dvoiro, Something interesting to share with you before we start, before we commence, and that is that the uh, it's always it's halacha. The Rambam says halacha that you always read the midbar before Shavuos. Yeah, they arranged it in such a way that Parshas of Shavua B'midbar is always read before Shavua. So there are many questions, many answers. Why is that? Many reasons. One reason is, I think, is that before you learn Torah, before you receive the Torah, you have to have order in your life. B'midbar is all about order. What we read yesterday is just about good order, right? Who sits where, who camps where, who does what. You know, you have to have a good vessel very nice and orderly, and into that you can pour the spirituality of your life, which is the content, which is the Torah. Interestingly enough, the same thing is about Yisroi. The first thing, the, the, the last parsha, right before Matan Torah, is what? It's about Yisroi telling Moshe to appoint Dayonim with different levels, because otherwise it's going to be a mishmash, it's going to be a mess. So again, here's a goy, a person who doesn't yet have spiritual uh, content, because then he was still a goy, according to some, and yet, he's the one who can tell us how to put things into order, the physical order, hierarchy, and then you can put the turn into that. So that shows us how important it is to have order in our lives, time, place, everything, and then we can become better people. Thank you very much. And now we're going to start this year. <laughs> 